During a time of social and political unrest, an art form emerged, answering the call and need to not only feel, but be strong, to speak up and find a collective and supportive identity. It was the alchemy of rage and sadness and even joy, transformed into movement and sound and performed to feel whole and accepted, something to hold on to, a form that rooted people in their communities while offering the freedom to be themselves. Freedom in form. Much like other percussive dance forms, it's the unbearable conditions of the people that brought about the rhythms, songs, and dances associated with the art form I'll be sharing with you today. Much like the South African miners or gumbu dancers who hit their boots while chanting to lift their spirits in the midst of the deplorable conditions working in the mines. Or the strong and fierce slapping of the chest and thighs by the Maori people in New Zealand in their dance form called the haka to warn newcomers of their strength, pride, and unity. Or even the fight for self-expression and storytelling through the intense and suspenseful movements of flamenco dancers. Or in everyday life, the clapping of our hands in celebration or the shouts and moans when experiencing suffering and pain. The spectrum of the rich and diverse art forms using body and voice as a means of self-expression are endless and emphasize the universal human need for self-expression, connectedness, and understanding. What I like to call moving meditations. The use of body and voice as a means of individual and collective connection emotionally and spiritually is a tradition as old as time, bringing groups together through a strengthened sense of identity, or as an individual, a form of self-expression and a meditative and centering experience. When I step, I hear and become the rhythms. They center me. In the present moment, I feel the memories and strength of my ancestors and the hope and promise of those after me. I, I serve as a bridge, carrying their stories, our stories, through my movement.
my heart beats faster? My breath quicker? My hands and legs sometimes sore? <laughs> my feet firm, planted like the roots of a tree? My mind and soul finding freedom in this percussive dance form called stepping. Now, actually, I haven't always been a stepper. But ever since I can remember, I've used my percussive body as a means of telling stories and expressing my individuality. From hand games and popular dances on the playground to celebrating at a wedding or a birthday party to my more formal training at universities and festivals around the world. I've embraced that as a dancer and body percussionist, movement and sound is what makes us feel human. So once stepping was introduced into my life culturally and professionally, I grew to appreciate my own identity, as well as the creativity, resilience, and perseverance of the human body and spirit. I remember when I joined my organization, Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, one of the nine traditionally black fraternities and sororities where the origins of stepping began. It was 2011. I was in my third year at the University of Michigan. I'd spent months learning about the history and culture and traditions of my community, and finally, I had my official new member presentation to the larger community. Me, along with my three line sisters, recited history of our organization and chapter. We sang traditional songs passed down from generations before us. We performed traditional steps in honor of our founders and founding principles. Stepping was more than just about showing our collective identity, but also a way of sharing our stories and history. In 1920 began the history of the tantalizing ladies of z 5 They are second to none and first in line. Those blooming white ladies are truly divine. Joining my organization was just another avenue to learn more about and appreciate my identity as an African American. From our dark past and present of struggle and marginalization, we always find a way to push through adversity, to become stronger for ourselves and others. I learned more about the way that we move, express, unapologetically speak up for ourselves and what we believe in. And I saw this more and more when I learned about prominent African Americans that joined organizations like I did. Greats like civil rights leader Martin Luther King, member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, current vice president of the United States of America, Kamala Harris, member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, gospel singer and legend Aretha Franklin, member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, and perhaps the greatest basketball player of all time, Michael Jordan, member of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated. Now these prominent African Americans, among many, many others, are a part of our community's legacy and story. And I carry their energy, their creativity, and their perseverance to create positive impact through their talents and passions. So my passion is to use movement and sound to spread the joy of dance and body percussion, as well as connectedness and self-expression. So later, when I joined Step Africa, the only professional dance company dedicated to the art form of stepping, I started to see a very culturally rooted African-American dance form utilized in creative ways to affect children and adults alike around the world. 
In weekly performances at schools, we use the historical significance of stepping to teach the importance of education. We use the contagious and high energy feel of stepping to perform at international festivals and showcases. It was in having these experiences and seeing the positive effect of stepping around the world in a wider context that armed and empowered me with the experiences and tools to continue to share stepping with the world. So since I've moved to Belgium, I've had the privilege of performing for a number of different audiences, as well as teaching workshops in various cities. And I'd say one story that really sticks out to me, I was teaching a workshop, and there was this one young Flemish woman named Yolene, she's from Ghent, and in the midst of the step, I said, okay guys, so I'd like you guys to use your voices. I want you to yell each other's names, I want you to support each other, I want you to motivate each other with your voice while we step. Yolene stops and she looks at me and goes, um, Brianna, but um, we don't yell where I come from. I, I smiled and chuckled and said that it's not just about yelling. <laughs> it's about taking that energy that you have within yourself and giving it to those around you. It's about motivating each other, inspiring each other to work together to make magic on stage. And I think that's actually the most amazing part about stepping, is you have to really be in tune with those around you physically and musically. If one arm is just a little too high, <laughs> if one beat is just a little bit off, you see the difference and you hear the difference. I say it's the ultimate test of teamwork, but once you achieve it, it's like, a beautiful orchestra of dancers and musicians, or what I like to call danzitions. <laughs> my goal in continuing my practice and sharing of stepping is to show the human body as a powerful vessel that is meant to be heard and appreciated, that we are oftentimes stronger than we think and that there are no limitations to what our body can do. So I'm really glad that Singing Brussels incorporated our bodies into the festival this year to really show that this is able to create so much sound beyond our voice. Because I believe that embracing our bodies and the rhythms that it holds is a way of embracing ourselves. When I step, I know that I'm enough. With just my hands and my feet, I do what I can with what I have to create movement and sound and a frequency and message of abundance and enoughness. I step for gratitude. I step for love. I step for all that makes me human and unique. I feel empowered, centered, released from doubt, and connected to something greater than myself something that no one can take away from me. Thank you. My name is Brianna Ashley Stewart, dancer, choreographer, entrepreneur, and stepper.